Hello, my name is Siobhan Sweet and welcome back to my kitchen. So today I'm going to show you how to line a flan ring. And we're starting with the small ones because they're much easier to uh, roll than the larger ones. Because I know some of you may not have used sweet pastry before. So I've just taken this out of the fridge and I'm just going to give it a very gentle work. Not too much because you don't want to make it too crumbly. I'm going to cut that in half. I've just made a small amount just to show you. And you're going to dust with a little bit of flour. Now when you dust, it's like skimming a stone. You just flick. If you put too much on there, you're going to put, put too much flour into your mix and it's going to start to crumble and crack, which you don't want. So gently, one roll and turn. One roll and turn. Okay. Don't just keep rolling in one spot because that's going to stick. And just pick up the flour as you go, move it round. You can, get, you can go quite big, so if you're wanting to do a 8-inch um, one, obviously just use all the pastry. A little bit on there, not too much, and roll it round. Once you've got it to the size you want, we don't want the pastry too thick. It doesn't need to be perfectly round, you're going to put that round. Now, don't just cut out, it's going to be too small. So you're going to use your knife. And you're going to go all the way around. Okay, now if this was a big one, you would use your rolling pin and you'd roll up and you'd pick it up. Put that there. You hear my dog in the background sneezing. <laughs> okay, so once you've done that, you're going to lift the edges up. And you're going to, don't push in. If you push in, you're going to stretch your pastry. So this is really, really important. I love to give you these tips as we go along. All the way around. Once you've got it right down to the bottom, so what we're looking for is a 90 degree corner, then you can cut it. If you haven't got that 90 degree corner and you start to chop it, your pastry will shrink. So you may not be able to see that in there, but you can see there's a corner in there, so it's like 90 degrees. Once you've got that all the way around, then you can use your rolling pin or your knife. I just tend to use a rolling pin because it's the nearest thing. And you're going to go all the way around. And that is your flan ring. 